there we go. You go to there, and then you hit, um, on the top right, there's a little lock. Click that, it'll bring up this guy. And if you type in the challenge, can you do spaces? I'm not sure. Can you do spaces? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can do spaces. Challenge. There we go. I think that's how it's spelled. Uh, if you do that, I'm not sure if it has any spaces or not, and then you click him. Um, I've already done it, as you can see right here. I've already done it. It says the challenge at the top. But, um, it won't, well, once you type that in, it will bring up that little thing, and when you play it, you get this little level, which you will have to complete. You can just cheese it, or not cheese it. <laughs> You can just um, beat it with a uh, little bit of, um, I, I wouldn't quite call it cheating, I don't know. I just don't like to use it, but like that, and then just go. But I just prefer, since it's easier, to just do this. Just go up, there you go. Oh, I swear I'm not bad at this. There we go. Uh, there we go. And you can just do it like this since, yeah, and just go up, keep doing your thing, and basically just complete the level, and once you do, um, then you'll complete it, and then the key master will say something like, um, you know, he'll say something, he'll say something like, um, you beat the challenge, this is like supposed to be impossible or something. And then he'll say, down in the basement, there will be a gift for you. There is a gift. It's a little more detail, but I just don't want to go over it. And this is the basement right there. Sorry if you can't see it. I wish I could move that. But anyways, that's the basement right under the challenge. And we'll bring up this guy. So, once you have come up here, and there should be a chest right here. Um, I already took it because I'm almost done with it. But there should be a chest there. And once you get that chest, then you're like, okay, I'm going to leave because there's a cage right here, you know. It's a little bit creepy. But once, um, once you try to leave... He will not allow you to leave, and it will bring up a little dialogue saying some stuff I'm not going to go into detail, but you basically have to collect three keys. So, one of them, if you go down to the treasure room, and if you go to Scratch's place, there should be a little diamond after you talk to him. Somewhere in there, at least. It, it takes a while to get to. But it's not right off the bat. It's a little thing that you have to play more of the storyline. And once you do that, the coming soon place will have a door. But before you get the emblem, at least that's what I think it's called. So it'll say, um, it'll say, I need the emblem to see the light or something like that. So then you go and buy the emblem with, um, fake money, it's not real money, don't worry, unless you actually want to pay for that money, I don't think that's possible though in this game, anyways, so then once you do it, it'll cost around, I feel like something, I think it's around like 3,000, sorry about that, which is a little alarm I said, but I'm up way before that, anyways, so it, it won't cost real money. I'm pretty sure it's like 3,000 or something of those mana orbs. I already collected a lot of them, and I already have it. And I'm not quite spending my things on them because I don't quite want to yet, at least. But anyways, once you do that, then you go all the way back to the coming soon area. And you can click it, and he'll say, Lord Rub Rub, please come in. And you'll go in, and he'll say something like, wait, you're not Rub Rub. And then there will be a chest around roughly the same spot right 
um, right here. And once you do that, there will be the first key. The first key out of the three keys. So you can do other things like volcano, what's a secret word, hungry, there's a lot of secret words. But anyways, once you do that, I don't remember where the second key is. I'm not sure if it involves this guy. Um, I don't know. But the third key is hidden inside a gauntlet. It's called the Chaos Gauntlet. These levels were hard. Now you might say something different like, oh no, when I played it, it was super easy. You gotta understand. Um, I have never really played these levels. I was, which one was, which one was harder? Dark Trail? Okay, 407. 107, 379, and for some reason, um, I feel like Dark Drop, oh, actually, since that one took me more attempts, I guess that one kind of is harder, but for some reason, take this level, 139 attempts, this level, higher, which is, you know, more natural, because, you know, when you... When it's higher, it's harder, correct? And then I did Drippy Dub, and 20 attempts. So if you ask me, something's not adding up with these three levels. And then there's this one, which took me 379 times, which was a big jump from just 20 attempts on that dot. And then it went to 407 attempts. Now, there's something I do want to show you about this level, though. And it is this. So, once you go in, I magically collected all three um, coins. I don't know how. Don't ask me. But once you go through, you can eventually... Nope, nope, missed it. And there's also a little flashy lights if you didn't notice, so, you know... Continue with caution still. But anyways, somewhere around here, there should be a little part. Now, I'm going to put it in slow-mo for a rewind. So you guys can see it's right here. Look, you're supposed to, so you're supposed to jump there. And the arrow says, jump there, this little area right there. And then you're going to want to click the orb and then jump again to get into the portal so you don't lose, correct? Well, there's a little, um, just a, just a little bit, you know, just a little bit of an issue. Uh, maybe it's the fact that, you know, um, you can completely skip the orb and that's a lot easier. So, once you go through, um, this entire mess, just let me put it in a uh, little fast mode. Okay, hopefully I can get it now if my alarm doesn't go off again. <sighs> my gosh. I was doing so well, too. Okay, hopefully this will... Okay, you know what? I'm just going to practice mode, whatever. I don't care. You can judge me. I don't care. But anyways, once you finally made it through this gauntlet end... You'll get this little part, and once you go through, right there, up, and just keep going, and there'll be this part, so you want to go up, into the little area right there, go down, jump, and, here, let me show you. You're supposed to, to, um, click that orb right there, and then, you know, go, and keep going. But what I found out you can do is just completely skip the orb, and it's a lot more easy. So, I don't know why, but for some reason, you can do that. And the rest of the level is still pretty hard. I man, I don't even know how, but I managed to get all three coins. Um, I don't know. And there's this little part. Oh, what? 
What? Come on. Let's go. Up, up. Come on, come on. And up. There we go. So once you go through, then you have this little part. And then this part's kind of tricky. You want to jump, hit the orb, but then also don't lose at the same time. And then this part, I, I think it's kind of easy. And yeah, that's pretty much the whole level. So, anyways, thank you for watching. Have a nice day. And if you enjoy, and this is, again, always up to you. I don't want to be too picky. But you can subscribe and like the video. And maybe if you still want, turn on notifications if you really like this channel. But anyways, thank you for watching and have a nice day. Goodbye. Nope, sorry. I can't believe this level. How was it rated harder? Whatever.